Let's play with some new makeup and chat. I have collected some new products that I have not tried yet, so let's try them today. Plus some old favorites too. So if you wanna see that, keep on watching. First off, what I use in my brows is this Grande Brow 2-in-1 Tinted Brow Gel and Brow Enhancing Serum. I have the shade Dark, and this little itty bitty applicator kind of reminds me of the Benefit Give Me Brow, but it was just so quick and easy. That's all I have in my eyebrows. That's it. And Tari Gummy might use this as well, but this was sent to me, so I will be doing a video dedicated to this as well. Speaking of sent to me, this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, and it's a hydrating one. I've used this once, and honestly, I don't remember how I feel about it, so we're gonna use a little bit today. I finally went to see our venue for our reception today. It's even more beautiful in person than the pictures online. Like, I used to go to that nature park all the time and see that building, but I never actually got to go in the building because it is a locked, private type of a thing. This is the Milk Sunshine Skin Tint. I have the shade Light Medium. I love this stuff. And Tari Yummy also uses this, so just throwing that out there. But I did actually have this before I knew who she was. Anyway, but the venue is amazing. They even have their own Bluetooth sound system throughout. They have a kitchen, there's an ice machine, a huge refrigerator, um, an oven, a warming rack, and then they provide all the tables and chairs. So it's gonna be great. It is going to be a fun, fun night and a lot of food. I do mean a lot of food which is probably gonna be my favorite part because I really hate taking pictures, but I definitely want to get pictures of us together and our family and everything. And then my mother-in-law was also there, which is very weird to say. Very, very weird to say. I love that woman though. But she was there because she needed to know about the whole kitchen situation since she is also helping us make a lot of the food and we're gonna have the drinks and everything. So we needed to know like, what's happening here? <laughs> is everything gonna fit? Do we need to cook everything? Do we need to buy like warming type things? What do we need? So she went with us to look at it as well. She was really happy about it and said how beautiful it was. And we're just very, very grateful that it actually has a kitchen <laughs> cause online it didn't say if it did or not then we have the milk future fluid all over cream concealer in the shade 4n i don't use this enough it is a pretty thick concealer and i do have quite a light shade here as well but i really like to brighten up the face with shades like this so i don't mind how light it is it is just like really thick, so you have to be very mindful with how much product you're using. And then me and my mother-in-law, again, weird to say, went out to Dollar Tree, got some stuff. There's still some stuff that I need to get, to like I need more tablecloths. I have not gotten them all just yet. And then we were planning on like, who's bringing what? How are we transporting everything? How are you gonna set up the venue? All that kind of stuff. You know, the girly parts of wedding planning. You might be wondering why so much milk and that would be because I found these at TJ Maxx today and they had the little plastic cover on them and everything. So when I got home, I took the plastic off and swatched them and I'm like, these have to go on my face today. So we have the matte bronzer stick in the shade Baked and then their lip and cheek stick in the shade Work. This is like such a beautiful fall time blush in my opinion. And I think this bronzer stick is gonna look really good on my skin tone. Let's hope so. Oh yes, that is a win. And these were the only two 
milk like cheek products they had they had um their eclipse setting spray or whatever it was but i have so many setting sprays right now i didn't really want to go for that so i went for these and so far no regrets i do have another shade and the blush here um so i know the formula of that and it seems like the bronzer stick is the same formula I also cannot get over how tiny these are, but they are full size. And again, sorry for the squeaking. Zeus is in here with his new Jason toy that I got from TJ Maxx last time I went. When I did that haul video over on TikTok, if you guys have not seen that already, go do so. That is stunning. Now for the blush and the shade work. I'm just going to add a little bit of this on and see how this looks. What did I tell you? A beautiful fall time blush. Tried and true when wild photo focus translucent setting powder. Let's set the face. I'll be right back. Now, you know me and whatever product is left on this blush brush, we're going to go ahead and add on to the cheeks. It's just it really does bring the face back to life when you do this. And this is how you use powder over, how you use cream over powder is what I was trying to say. And it just, it livens up the face without disturbing what is already on. Now, I've only used this a few times. This is the Makeup by Mario Master Matte palette, the original one. It just screams fall time to me and I am in the mood for fall makeup. Like I am heavily in that mood right now. If you've seen any of my recent looks, you know that. It's just been a big must for me and we're gonna figure out a look to do with this. Speaking of fall time, this is the Skylar Clean Beauty Fall Cashmere Scent. This is one of my favorites for fall. And this is what I'm going to be wearing on Thanksgiving this year. I keep talking about Thanksgiving. I have the most gorgeous outfit planned. You guys are not ready to see it. Like, you are not ready. I'm not even ready. I am so excited for that one. Let's dive in. I think I'm going to start with this color right here. And we're going to throw this in the crease. I'm just using a Glam Light brush from their Pride the 13th collection. I love their brushes. I really hope they do more brushes coming up. That would be amazing. And they have a live event tomorrow. I do have to work. So I'm hoping I don't miss out on too much of the live event and I'm able to snag some things because they're gonna have a big launch. I think they said two different collections on that TikTok live tomorrow. I need it. And if you didn't see, one of them is Coca-Cola. They teamed up with Coca-Cola and did a collection. And the lip colors, they look stunning. Now we're gonna take this shade right here and we're gonna add some depth to the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye. And then I do have a shimmery eye thing to put on as well. If you guys remember when Stila had those uh, shimmer and glow and glitter and glow, there's two different formulas. I personally loved the glitter more than the shimmer. The glitter was a lot chunkier and shinier. But I found one of these at TJ Maxx, and it's their Glitter and Glow, but it's a mini tip. And when I say mini tip, um, it looks quite weird. I don't know why that applicator, because it used to just be like a flat doe foot type of a deal. Kind of like, kind of like this, you know, just nothing weird or special why that applicator no idea but i haven't played with one of those in such a long time and this is my preferred preferred formula 
and it's in Ken Karma. The amount of these I have went through in Ken Karma is probably unhealthy at this point because I used to love that so much. I would sometimes just have that on my lid, nothing, nothing else. Or there was times I would get fancy and add a little bit of bronzer in the crease and then put that on the lid. And then other times I would do an eye look and then just add a little hit of that to the lid to make it more shimmery and glowy. And something about a halo eye screams fall to me. Don't know why, but I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna use a little bit of this shade here to deepen up what we just did. So we're just gonna bring it further in the inner corner and further out on the outer corner and just kind of create a little bit of a gradient effect just like that you can see how much depth that added compared to that eye and then whatever is left over on the brush i'm just going to use that lightly on the lower lash line so we have a little bit of something happening and then this if i do remember correctly doesn't have much of a base to it so i'm just going to take one of these lighter shades I guess maybe like this one and I'm just going to lightly tap this all over the lid just so there's a little bit of a base color underneath and not just my skin tone there just give it a little something now to apply this with this weird weird applicator I don't know how I feel about this applicator I don't even know why that would be a necessary thing. Like there was nothing wrong with the original applicator. So why they did this, I don't know. But this formula is amazing. I actually cut this product a while back at TJ Maxx and I'm just now getting to use it but I don't mind because this is literally the perfect glitter for fall time. Like if you want a glitter for fall time, Kin Karma by Stila. And something about fall time makes me want to use brown eyeliner. So my favorite for liquid liner is the NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade Brown. It is a waterproof liquid liner. I also love the black version of this. The black version is actually what I used for my engagement photos the day we went down to the Justice of Peace and got married, what I'm going to use for the reception. It's a great eyeliner. And then I also love this MAC pencil liner in the shade Teddy. It is their eye coal and it's got like a little bit of glimmer to it. This on the waterline, it's just, it's so easy and beautiful and it's such a dark, rich brown. It almost looks black, but it's definitely softer and less harsh on the eyes than a black pencil liner would be. If you've been with me for a while, do you remember Revlon Skin Lights and Daybreak Glimmer? I've used the shit out of this. This was the dupe for the ABH Amrezy Highlighter, which you can no longer get your hands on but you can still buy this and it's like, what, $12, $14 for this? I've had mine for, goodness, I want to say, and this is kind of gross, like five, six years and still have not hit pan at all. Like there's a significant dent in it, but I still have not hit pan on this. And at one point, this was a highlighter I was using every single day. It really just is that girl. Like you can build it up to be very blinding. You can have it more natural looking. Zeus, I think somebody just wanted to come say hi. So say hi to the people. Yeah. 
No, you, you don't need makeup. There will be no animal testing. Goodness gracious. But I absolutely love that highlighter. And then going with the brown theme, I have this brown mascara from Grande Cosmetics. It's the Grande Mascara Conditioning Peptide Mascara. That is a mouthful, but it is a beautiful chocolatey brown. And it's just, it's perfect when you're wearing brown eyeliner just to stay on theme. Now for the last two products, it's gonna be a nice lip combo, I bet. I have only used this Kevin Aquan lip pencil once and it's in the shade New Naked. And then Lancome sent over a PR package. I tried the other shade of this product, but this is their Idol Lip Idol Butter Glow in the shade 30. Look at how pretty that is and it is screaming fall. All right, so New Naked, Lancome. Oh my God, this combination. This might be one of the greatest lip combos I have ever tried. Like, mmm, and that shine. And it has a little bit of a minty feel to it. Like you can smell the mint on your mouth. This look. This is a fall lover's dream, literally. I am so excited for fall. I'm excited for all the different looks I can do now. I need to start planning out some Halloween ideas, but it's just, it's hard when you don't know your work schedule because I literally was not off for almost an entire week, so. We're gonna have to think on that one and come up with some Halloween ideas, especially since I am a broke bitch nowadays, considering I only have one job in planning this whole wedding. Hmm. We're gonna have to figure it out because I love this time of year, but even if I don't do any Halloween looks, just like fall looks, especially like this, I am living. But that was it. Thanks for hanging out with me while I try some new makeup products, talk a little bit. It was definitely a lot of fun. Hopefully you had fun. But until next time, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.